bumpy ride into the wild. Slowly, the residents of this central Indian forest begin to show themselves. A big herd of Indian gore and black-faced monkeys eating breakfast. Suddenly, a deer sends out an alarm call. A predator is on the move. The car stop and wait with bated breath. Then, out it comes. The king of the Indian jungle, or in this case, the queen, a five-year-old tigress. A sight that's a once-in-a-lifetime experience for some and a means to earn a living for others. Bandhu Mankar lives in a village just outside the jungle. I've grown up here and love the jungle. We survive only because of it and the tigers. There are hardly any jobs in this remote area. In the past five years, the number of tourists coming here have more than doubled. And foreign visitors who usually prefer the more popular jungles are also setting their sights on Tadoba. That's mainly down to a rising tiger population. There's a tiger sleeping in those bushes there. I can just about see it through my binoculars. It's been lying there for about an hour and everyone here is waiting, hoping that it'll wake up and then perhaps we'll get a better look at it. Spotting a tiger in the wild is an activity that requires a lot of patience. It's unpredictable and it costs money. You've got to book this car, the guide, and you've got to pay a fee to enter the jungle as well. But it's also addictive. You can just see the kind of crowds here that have gathered to take a glimpse at that tiger today. Too many people, though, would scare the wildlife here. We regulate the number of tourists by restricting the number of cars allowed through any gate of the jungle. Only 68 vehicles are allowed to be in the forest at any given time. It's difficult, though, to walk the line of mutual respect between the tigers and the humans who come to see them.